What's going on everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of Maximus the Fourth. In today's video I'm going to be giving you guys a complete history lesson of Pepsi Wild Cherry. Now believe me when I say there is a lot more to the story behind Pepsi Wild Cherry and how it became what it has become to this very day. So without further ado, believe me when I say sit back, relax, hit that full screen button, and enjoy the show. Let's get right into this. Here we go. Starting all the way back in 1982, there was this annual fairgrounds event that took place in Nashville, Tennessee. Coca-Cola just so happened to be there and what they were doing is they were putting together this taste testing lab because they wanted to come out with a brand new flavor in order to compete with Dr. Pepper. There were four brand new flavors that they came out with. The first one is Coca-Cola Lime and then Coca-Cola Lemon, Coca-Cola Vanilla, which is Vanilla Coke, Cherry Coke, and then they placed these four new flavors out on the market as taste tests were available to the consumers to find out which one was going to become the undisputed winner. By the end of it, Cherry Coke won and it was said and very clear that Cherry Coke was the brand new flavor that was to come out. Now, <clears throat> Three years later, in 1985, <clears throat> Pepsi got the news that Coca-Cola was coming out with their brand new flavor of Cherry Coke. So in Canada only at this time, once PepsiCo found out what was happening, they quickly put together an elite team in which they called by the code name of Rambo. And after five short weeks of working really, really hard, PepsiCo indeed did come out with their own cherry flavor of Pepsi. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is an authentic 1985 cherry Pepsi can from Ontario, Canada. They moved so ridiculously fast that even though Coca-Cola was way ahead of them. Just hours before Coca-Cola released their Cherry Coke, Pepsi beat them. And again I say that is indeed an authentic can from 1985 from Ontario, Canada of Cherry Pepsi. Get yourselves a nice look at that. Now, understandably so, other countries were starting to catch on to this, and I do have three cans from Germany that I'm going to show you guys right now. So starting with this can to your guys' left, right here, hold on a second here, so this right here is indeed three authentic Cherry Pepsi cans from Germany. Now, these might look pretty similar and identical, especially these two, but if you look really close, the one on your guys' left, the rim is a lot wider, and on the one to your guys' right, the rim is a lot more caved in and smaller. And it looks like these both had an old school pull tab, but the older one, 
the rim is not only bigger and wider, but the pull tab was a little bit bigger as opposed to this other one. <clears throat> the pull tab was smaller. Now the third can, as you guys can clearly see, the cherry print is a lot smaller than the first two cans. And it does say the same thing at the very bottom on this one as these two. It says Cola Mit Kirschk Aroma. I think is that, that's how you pronounce it. In this third can, it looks a lot more like a modern day can in what they look like today. It still is definitely different and looks a lot older because it is, but as you can see, instead of having these old school pull tabs, they did switch to the ring in which you pull back and then it pushes that metal tab inside just like that. Now by this time you might think that the US was sleeping on the idea of having a cherry Pepsi but the states actually came out with their own new idea Instead, the United States, they took a different route completely than Ontario, Canada. And one year later, in 1986, the U.S. decided to come out with a brand new line of flavors called Slice. There were three flavors that they came out with. It was Mandarin Orange, Apple, and then Cherry Cola Slice. And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is an authentic bottle, a 16 ounce bottle of Cherry Cola Slice from 1986. Like most sodas that come out, they did have a diet version. And luckily, very luckily, I do have a diet can of Cherry Cola Slice as well. So you guys get a nice look at that. And this is really cool because even though it doesn't say Pepsi, right there it does say from the makers of Pepsi Cola right there. Now, before I move on in this video, let's talk just a little bit about Cherry Cola Slice. So, to this very day, if you can find a full, unopened, and sealed Cherry Cola Slice, it doesn't matter if it's a bottle or a can, it probably doesn't even matter if it's a diet can. That is worth $700. So needless to say, they are very rare. And the reason why is because these were discontinued in 1988. It was never rebranded, ever. It was just simply discontinued after two years and it never hit the shelves ever again. Now, very fortunately, as you guys can see right here, I do have a full, sealed, and unopened bottle of Cherry Cola Slice. Very luckily. And I actually have five more of these. And the only reason why this one is empty is because I opened it in the first place. But originally, I had bought a complete six pack of these cherry cola slices on eBay for $700 plus $31 in shipping. It was a ridiculously good deal and yeah, like I said, these things they're valued at 700 a piece. So, moving forward, once cherry cola slice was discontinued, Dun, da, da, da. In 1988, they replaced Cherry Cola Slice with Wild Cherry Pepsi. 
And this right here, ladies and gentlemen, is an authentic can of Wild Cherry Pepsi. The very first printed can, not the prototype, but the very first branded Wild Cherry Pepsi can from 1988. This is the absolute most original can you can find of Wild Cherry Pepsi. Now, moving forward, in 1995, but before that, by this time, most countries were going under the name of Wild Cherry Pepsi, and they pretty much did away with Cherry Pepsi. There were, however, a few countries left over that still did go by the name of Cherry Pepsi, such as countries like Great Britain, Russia, and Germany. Now, like most things, over the years, the artwork and the brands, they do change. And this right here is an authentic can of Wild Cherry Pepsi from 1995. And then, later on, in 2005, there were speculations that the ingredients and both the taste of Wild Cherry Pepsi might have been different, both of them. The consumers were right, so what Pepsi did in order to back their play is they came out and rebranded with new ingredients and renamed Wild Cherry Pepsi into Pepsi Wild Cherry. And that is indeed an authentic can of Pepsi Wild Cherry from 2005. You can see right here it says great new taste. And this is actually a Chicago Air and Water Show Fantastic Feats edition can. But it still has the, the original look of Pepsi Wild Cherry from 2005. And because this can was a little bit cheaper than a different one, which would have the same exact looking picture of this right there instead of that Chicago Air and Water Show, I bought it and just went with that one anyways. Now, moving even deeper into this, <clears throat> This is a 2010 can of, wild, of Pepsi Wild Cherry, and you can see it looks a lot different, way different actually. Just get a nice look at that. Okay. Now to top things off. To this very day now, as it stands, in 2023, this is what a uh, Pepsi Wild Cherry looks like. And to top this video off, I'm going to go ahead and open this bottle of Pepsi Wild Cherry and give you guys a review and a taste test on it. So here we go. I, of course, like most people, have had Pepsi Wild Cherry, and it's very good. I love it. Ooh, it smells so good. So at first, you're definitely getting a really, really nice cherry flavor of Pepsi. It, the smell is just absolutely incredible. It's phenomenal. It's out of this world, really. Just fantastic. Let's see how this thing tastes. Yep, that's pretty good. Now, this bottle of Pepsi Wild Cherry, 
It has 260 calories, 70 grams of sugar, 70 grams of carbohydrates, 55 milligrams of sodium, and all 70 grams of the sugars are completely added, which is 140%. There's obviously zero protein, and this is not a significant source of saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, dietary fiber, vitamin B, calcium, iron, and potassium. And like most things, this is more than likely probably a nutrition label that might be based on a 2,000 calorie diet. But it doesn't look like it says that on this bottle. But that does taste very good. You definitely cannot go wrong with Pepsi Wild Cherry. I don't know if it tastes better than regular old Pepsi or not, but it's pretty good. I really wish that I had a sealed, unopened in full Wild Cherry Pepsi before 2005 so I could see what that tastes like. That would be really cool. But maybe we'll just do this for a thumbnail right here. But let me try to pinpoint this before I end this video to tell you guys the score of the soda. You absolutely cannot go wrong with a Pepsi Wild Cherry. I will give that a very solid 8 out of 10. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of the entire history of Pepsi Wild Cherry. Before I end this video, there is a video of me consuming one of these 1986 Cherry Cola slices, and I will leave the link down below in the description. If you guys can, please watch that video. I don't do this with most videos, but I am literally the only guy on the entire platform of YouTube that has ever posted any footage of consuming a 1986 Cherry Cola slice. And that video needs to hit a million views. I don't care what it takes. You guys need to share that one. I'm not even asking. I'm telling you to share it because a lot of people are going to want to see what that looks like. So there you guys have it. That is the end of the Pepsi Wild Cherry history take number two. And I hope you guys have yourselves a fantastic day. See you on the next one.